and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, you are live with the United Spot on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, depending on where you live in this country, it is either day or night. Not really sure if it's morning or if it's nighttime for you right now, but whatever the case, you are live. We can't thank you enough for being here with the United Spot. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and watch this live right now on YouTube. And don't stop there. Please make sure you're subscribed to the United Spot YouTube channel on a daily. Check in with us every single day as we upload two to three videos a day. We go live twice a day. We got a lot of stuff going on over here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're on Twitter, hello. If if you're on YouTube, hello. If you're on Facebook, hello. And if you're on Rumble, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. For some of you, it's getting close to being Monday morning. Monday, Monday, just another day. Monday. Um, Mondays. Monday, Mondays. Uh, Garfield. Yeah. Um, wow. So much going on right now. There's so many people out there right now that are literally. Um, listen, we're not going to tell anybody how to feel. We're not going to tell anybody how to think. All right. It's not our style. That's why we have a constitution. Constitution clearly states that you can feel and think and say whatever you want, as long as you're not, you know, committing any crimes. Um, but, you know, if you're going to support somebody, you're going to support somebody like, oh, I don't know, say President Trump, you're going to support him, all right? Don't just kind of support him, okay? And what I mean by that is that there's a lot of people out there that have based their entire careers on the internet, content creators, journalists, all that kind of stuff. They base their entire careers off of the name President Trump, right? And now that there's fresh, fresh meat, all different corners, everybody wants to get a little paycheck and they forgot what got them to where they are today. And I think it's bullshit. We've been offered money. And as much as we beg, don't you think we should have taken it? Fuck no, because we have pride. We love who we love. And that's the end of the story. We're loyal. We don't play that game. You can offer us all the money you fucking want, but we're not going to fucking do it. And the reason we're not going to do it is because we're loyal. Roof, roof, roof. Sit, 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 Ubu, sit. <sighs> Listen, guys, we're going to play these fucking videos because you know what? It's not about, it's not about anything weird tonight, all right, or this morning, or wherever the fuck you live, all right? This is about laughing. All right? This is about smiling. This is about being kind and encouraging other people. This is about walking into your fucking bathroom, staring at yourself in the fucking mirror and pointing to yourself saying, you're welcome. All right? So listen, we're going to play some fucking videos. We're going to have a good time. You guys are going to give us all your fucking money. We're going to take that money and put it towards a new laptop, new software, all kinds of great shit so we can keep fucking making videos for you guys because that's what we want to do. I know, everybody's like, oh man, he went a little fucking much there. Why don't you lay off the fucking candle wax, dude? Why don't you chill the hell out, all right? I don't need this. It's almost Monday, all right? Unsubscribed, too much, way too fucking much. Truly, truly appreciate everybody that's in here right now on YouTube. Truly appreciate everybody there is on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Rumble. And if you guys hang out for the entire show, we're going to say your name. Say my name, say my name. Um, we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Couldn't do this without you. Please remember this, all right? Please remember this. Loyalty. Loyalty. It's not just a word. Loyalty. Learn it. Understand it. And don't open your mouth if you don't have loyalty. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you're going to look stupid. You're going to look stupid. Loyalty is not just a word. It's a lifestyle. Okay? So learn what loyalty means. Because it's a good thing to have. You know? 
Anyway, I, I, I just, I just want to tell you a little story. All right. So I'm sitting there, right? I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, wait a second. What if we go live? And then all of a sudden, the candle falls down off the table. And I'm sitting there. And I'm like, holy crap, right? Hey, Hunter, and I'm just are you like, okay? No, I'm not okay, Dad. Well, well, what's wrong, honey? Did you see the list of rules I have to follow? Yeah, but you're free, sweetheart. Free to do what, Dad? Own a firearm? No. Do drugs? No. Be a stay-at-home son? No. Well, so what? You gotta look for a job. Dad, I'm a stay-at-home pipeline and energy specialist, all right? I don't work. Oh, and who's gonna drug test me, Dad? Well, your mom's a doctor. She's not my mom, Dad. I know, I know. I'm just so miserable, Dad. <laughs> My life is so hard. Yeah, but at least you're free, honey. Yeah, but at what cost, Dad? What cost? Oh, honey, a normal person would have gotten 10 years for what you did. Well, I'm not a normal person, Dad. I'm Hunter Biden. I'm supposed to be above the law. You are above the law, honey. This is just all a distraction. It is? Of course it is, sweetie. You think I let you go to jail? Well, if you let me go to jail, then I just tell everybody you were my business partner. I know. That's, that's why I've been working so hard to keep you out of jail, so, honey. I, I don't have to get a job? No, you don't have to get a job. Okay. Can you imagine if I had to get a real job? Hey, welcome to the Cracker Barrel. Can I help you? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to have a burger and a vanilla ice cream cone. Uh, sorry, bro. The ice cream machine's broken. Oh, uh, well, how about some fries and an ice cream then? Uh, sorry. Um, we, we don't have any ice cream. Oh, okay. Uh, how about a chocolate ice cream cone then? Uh, Okay, but we don't have any ice cream, dude. All right, well, how about a vanilla ice cream cone and a soda? Uh, bro, we don't have any ice cream. All right, fine. I'll just have some hamburger and, a, and an ice cream then. I'm only good at one thing, Dad. Breaking the law. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at it, too. If I'm not breaking the law, I'm not Hunter. And if I'm not making my ship disappear, I'm not Barack Obama. Hey, I mean, if I'm not lying or plagiarizing, I'm not, um, uh... Joe, Dad. Yeah, I'm not Joe Dad. All right, Dad. I want to get back to work. Uh, you, you want some help, honey? Dad, you know I don't talk to you about my business dealings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. You're the smart Action 9 News at 5. I on Tampa. Good morning, everyone. I'm a bartender. And, and I'm pretending to be president. We have some breaking news coming out of, like, America. And, and that's right next to the USA. And it's, like, totally right around the corner from the United States. Oh, damn it. I think I might have left the weed whacker on again. This is an important message for, like, the universe. We, we just received word from Etchesketch.com that millions of genetically modified Mallory's have been released into Florida. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Getting to call on my burner phone. <laughs> Hello? Hi, this is John Solomon. Who the hell is John Solomon? Hey, how'd you get this number? Come on, guys. This is, like, totally serious. Yeah, I mean, a single bite from one of these genetically modified Mallory's, and you'll never be the same again. Just ask Michael J. Fox. Oh, come on, man. You don't even know what affirmative action is. My fiance has red hair. Uh, this just in. Genetically modified Mallory's have been spotted in downtown Action Florida. 9's John Fetterman is on the scene. Hi, John. Hey, you guys. Uh, uh, John, uh, uh, what's going on down there? Uh, thanks, MP. Wow, is, like, everyone okay? You way? Oh, man, this is horrible. Are there any survivors? Where is my automobile? It was horrible. Yeah, I think they came from Russia. There were Mallory's flying all over the place. One landed <laughs> on my shoulder. I pissed my pants and forgot who I was for ten minutes. I had one land on my head. Just say I was wearing a mask, though. True story. <laughs> this is truly the darkest day in American history. We are, like, <laughs> totally joined with the creator of the genetically modified <laughs> Mallory's. Introducing <laughs> Dr. Scientist and Instagram model, <laughs> Bill Gates! Hey, how you doing, Jill? It's Bill! <laughs> What? My name is Bill. You called me Jill. <laughs> I mean, I never talked to Hunter about his business dealing, so I, I don't know. Page 45. Okay, so like Dr. Gates or like whatever. Yeah. What should people like totally do on Earth to protect themselves from the genetically modified Mallory's? Well, <laughs> um, people, we need to come together. We, we, we need to lock it down. We need to wrap ourselves in bubble wrap and mayonnaise. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm so proud. Out of you, Hunter. Less is more, people. <laughs> so cover your faces. Stand six feet apart. Phone from home. Buy toilet paper and hide. <laughs> Those Mallory's are out there, and they'll find you. <laughs> that is it. Oh. I'm moving to the sun. Oh. Damn it! Oh. I just shit myself again. Ha! 
and welcome back to uh, another edition of Between Two Earlobes. Introduce your guest. So, uh, uh, how's Trigger, huh? That's right. Private Joe, right? <laughs> and then, uh, 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 when's the last time you were sober? Uh, when's the last time you sipped the shit? Did, did you need to take a vodka break? Or... Uh, did you need to keep your son out of prison? Uh, <laughs> so, so, so is, is, is Paul like a carpenter? Or... So is Hunter like a criminal? Or... <laughs> uh, what, uh, what, what? What's uh, Paul's monthly budget on on, on white underwear? Uh, what's Hunter's monthly budget on? Crack? <laughs> uh, uh, so 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 when did you get your start in uh, insider trading? Can you tell us how you started earning ten percent? <laughs> and, and and how did you become the wealthiest female politician in history? I fucked my way to the top. Uh, my my guest today is uh, 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 Donald Reagan. It's actually Trump. Uh, what? My last name is Trump. Call me Reagan. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, so I heard you used to be the president. I still am president. <laughs> hey, I, I read somewhere that your thingy is like the size of a Tic Tac. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, that's why your wife's breath is so minty fresh. Uh, 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 welcome, welcome to the show, La Bamba. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> you look good. Uh, thanks. <laughs> it's like I'm looking in a mirror. <laughs> okay. It's like we're the same person. Oh, so, uh, so, so I heard Michelle likes to golf. Oh uh, yeah, Mike. I mean, uh, Michelle loves to golf. Uh, 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 does she choke up on her shaft? Uh, yeah. And, and and she keeps her balls clean? Oh, yeah. She's always washing her balls before she puts it in the hole. Uh, uh, so, so, uh, so your name's AOC? Um, what? Um, uh, how do you spell that? Um, can you use it in a sentence? Uh, so your name's AOC? Oh, my gosh, how did you know? All right, um. Oh, my gosh, hang on. I think I'm dying. What? What's wrong? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It was just climate change. Uh, all right, so uh, so you're a bartender scientist, huh? Yeah, and I'm actually building an electric rocket that runs on alcohol. Wow, where are you going to fly your rocket? To the sun? Duh. Oh, man, Elon's going to be so jealous. Yeah, he totally wants to date me. Your, your name's Hunter? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How'd you get a name like Hunter? Uh, my parents? Uh, does, does your dad go hunting a lot or something? Or? <laughs> Dad. It's me. Oh, honey, I, I didn't even recognize you. How you been? I, I haven't seen you in like 20 years. What are you talking about, Dad? I see you like every single day. Uh, you, you must have me confused with somebody else. I mean, I, I haven't talked to you in years. How could you say that? We talk about my business dealings on the phone like all the time. All right, let's, let's go to commercial. Somebody get my lawyer on the phone. Uh, 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 welcome to the show, Ron. Thank you. Who said that? I did, you silly goose. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't even see you down there. <laughs> hey, can we get Ron a booster seat? Hey, so, so what was it like on the set of The Wizard of Oz? <laughs> I, I, I heard that when you, like, run downstairs, you feel like you're skydiving. Is that true? No, that's not true. Uh, is it true you played Frodo? No, I don't play Frodo. Uh, says here your name is Adam. Is that right? Yep. Are you lying? <laughs> no. Uh, so, do, do you have any tips for anybody who wants to stay at the standard hotel? Well, um, I suggest staying in room 11. You'll get crystal glass. And a bellboy named Anthony will bring you hot dogs and pasta. So you like pasta and hot dogs, huh? <laughs> so, Obamagate. Yeah? <laughs> well, what was that like? Was it fun? Uh, oh no! It's the cops! It's okay, Hunter. You're the president's son. You got this. Driver! Remain in your vehicle! Alright! Hey! You're the president's son, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. Is there a problem, officer? No, well, I stopped you because you ran three red lights, made a few illegal turns, and you were doing 100 miles an hour in a 25 mile an hour school zone. Uh, but I'm gonna let you off with a warning this time. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> hey, is that an unlicensed firearm on your seat? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Hey, we all make mistakes, right? Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Whoa, what's that on your laptop? Um, well, uh... hey, relax, buddy. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, your eyes look pretty glossy. Uh, Have you been drinking or doing any drugs? Uh, yeah, a little bit of both. Sorry. Hey. We were all young once, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it's not like you're hurting anybody. I mean, you're just driving while under the influence. Yeah, that's true. Um, is there somebody in your trunk? Uh, yeah, but it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, you're free to go. 
Oh, cool. Thank uh -huh. you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Looks like you got a headlight out. I have to write you a ticket for that. Hey, I understand, man. You're just. Oh, doing I gotta go. I just saw Donald Jr. doing the speed limit. 211 in progress. Hey, hey, hey. I'm running for president. Hang on. I need to take a break. That's right, America. I'm running for president. <laughs> I'll be launching my presidential campaign at the Golden Corral. Oh, you can eat buffet. My campaign is sponsored by Crisco, butter, <laughs> fried chicken, and gravy. Hang on. I gotta take a break. Hey, give me a Twinkie. Chris Christie, are you sure you want to run for president? Yeah. People have been telling me to run for years. I think they were talking about <laughs> jogging. Hey, give me a donut with some Crisco on it. Mm. I just want to make the world a buttery place. I mean, a butter place. Uh, I need oxygen. Uh, hey, are you going to eat that? I'll be announcing my vice president pick on the Food Network. I'm picking Lizzo. <laughs> Hang on. I need something to drink. Pass me that gravy. Look out, Trump. I'm going to eat your lunch, and then I'm going to eat Ron DeSantis' lunch, and then I'm going to eat Kennedy's lunch, and then I'm going to eat Biden's lunch. Hang on. <coughs> I got to take a break. Let's make America butter again. Vote for Chris Christie. Hey, Barack! Uh, what's going on, Mike? Uh, I mean, Michelle? The white next door neighbor grabbed my balls! He grabbed your balls? Yeah! He grabbed my balls. Do you mean your basketballs? Yeah, what you think I was talking about? I don't know, but don't you think you could have said it in a different way? Like how? I don't know, but instead of saying the neighbor grabbed my balls, you could have said the neighbor touched my balls. That sounds weird, Barack. Yeah, that actually does sound kind of weird. All right, well, you could have said the neighbor was playing with my balls. That sounds just as weird as the other way you said it. Well, why'd you leave your balls out anyways, Michelle? Oh, I leave my balls out all the time. Well, you shouldn't leave your balls out. Put them away. I leave them out just in case you want to play with them. Michelle, you know I don't like playing with your balls. I know. You never play with my balls. Well, that's because I have my own balls to play with. Wait, Mary Barack, my balls is your balls. Well, I don't like your balls. I like my balls. Oh, really? What you gonna tell me next? That you don't like it when I make chili dogs? Oh, I hate chili dogs. Ugh. They're hard to swallow and they taste like shit. You used to like my chili dogs. Yeah, and I used to like your corn dogs, your sausages, and your eggplant, but I just don't like them anymore. What about my gooey duck, Barack? Are you saying you don't like my gooey duck no more? Oh, I hate your gooey duck. Oh. I guess you don't like my sour cream and protein packs no more either. Uh, not really. What happened to you, Barack? I don't know. I just kind of like eating peaches and clams now. Peaches and clams? Yeah. I bet you like eating tacos now too, don't you? Oh, I love tacos. Whatever. I'm gonna go see if Paul Pelosi wants to go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the town hall. You're welcome. Huh? I said you're welcome. Uh... For what? For the most views that CNN has ever had. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so what's your name? Donald J. Trump. And if I were to ask you what your name was, you would say... Donald J. Trump. Suppose I just met you and I asked you what your name was. What would it be? Donald J. Trump. I call you on the telephone and ask you for your name. Would you tell me? I just did. So you're not going to tell me your name? Oh my gosh, I totally can't even breathe. I think I almost died. Why won't he tell her his name? Just tell her your name, Trump. It's real simple. He should be arrested for not saying hey, his shut name. Up, me, me and Monica are trying to sleep. Shut up, pal. That should be me up there. <laughs> Why won't he tell her his name? I don't know, but I've never been more scared in my life. I need to see a counselor. I need a hug from my mommy. <laughs> okay, let's start over. Okay, what's your first name? Donald. Maybe you didn't understand me. I said, what's your first name? Donald. Oh my gosh. What is your first name? Are you okay? Do you need some medicine? No! The sign says, don't laugh or clap. I'm gonna get fired again. Let's try this one more time. All right. What yeah. is your name? Donald? J. Trump. Somebody check my balls. I like totally think I just died. He should be indicted for this. <laughs> Order in the court. Hey, hey, hey. Miss Collins.
Can you tell the court what happened next? Well, I asked him his name. Hey, hey, hey. Then what? And he wouldn't tell me. Has the jury reached a decision? Guilty. All right, guys. Lights, camera, bullshit. Wow, the Republican Party sucks. <laughs> yeah, you butt munchers. Donald Trump is a fraud. Yeah, and we don't even get paid for this. <laughs> yeah, the DNC doesn't even pay Cut. us. Nope. What, what was wrong with uh, that? The yeah. DNC does pay you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I'll delete and it. And action. We don't like Republicans. No, you guys suck. You'll never be like President O'Biden. Never. President O'Biden is like the best. Yeah, he saved America. Vote for O'Biden. We're good. We know stuff. Yeah, we're smart. <laughs> I'm a green belt, motherfucker! Ah, green belt! You don't have to read a teleprompter! Yeah, nobody writes a script for us! Yeah, we're smart! We know all about... Wait, what? What does that say? Cut! I don't know. I, I've never heard of that word before. Come on, guys. You're supposed to rehearse your sorry, lines. Sorry, sorry. Read the teleprompter. This is why we pay you money. All right, all right. Sorry, sorry about sorry, that. Sorry about that. President O'Biden is the best. Yeah, the I'm best. Vote for him four times. He raised yeah. gas prices. Yeah, and he raised inflation too. He's my hero. Your time is come, Republican. Yeah, it's all over. We're coming. <laughs> come on, you young people. <laughs> Let's vote for O'Biden. I am the great Joe Julio. I need money I'm for young. Ukraine. Oil. I know stuff. Do you have money for Ukraine? Oil? And that's a wrap. Good job, guys. I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness. Wow! Now that's a good-looking woman! <laughs> yeah, she's hot! She's the woman of my dreams! Ah, I wish I could have a girl like that. She's beautiful! Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Joe Biden can hug us up! That's what a real woman looks like right there! Yeah! Wow! Now that's what a real president looks like! <laughs> yeah, he gets the job done! No one works as hard as him! Oh. <laughs> wow! This is so easy! Yeah, and, and we're getting paid too! We're gonna do this forever! Yeah, we'll never have to get a real job! <laughs> nope! We work for President O'Biden now! We're gonna live like kings forever! Hey, Michelle! Give me another hot dog! Ten years later? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, are, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. We got nothing left but a lifetime supply of Bud Light. No. We need money. We can make videos for the DNC again. <laughs> uh, we're too old. Yeah, They're yeah. not going to pay us. Well, yeah. Plus, TikTok is shut down. Well, what about that President O'Biden guy? Who? That guy who used to pay us money. Oh, I I think he's dead, dude. Well, what about his son? He's in prison. Well, what are we going to do about money? I don't know. But I'm starting to think that the Republicans were right. <laughs> Here's to 10%. <laughs> yeah, and the big guy. <laughs> Oh, man, this is some good beer. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Michelle's favorite. Uh, I just want to lick it. W what, yeah. what are you guys talking about? <laughs> uh, we're just talking about how good this beer is. Yep. Barack, isn't that Michelle's favorite beer? Yep. Me and my husband <laughs> love that beer. We suck them down every night. Yeah, Hunter Hunter <laughs> uses the cans to smoke his Parmesan. <laughs> Guess who got the mail? Don't you mean female? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to read my script. AOC, are you like totally on another magazine cover? Yeah, I'm like totally on the cover of Geek. Actually, it's pronounced Geek. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. You know, two years ago, if someone would have walked into my bar and told me I'd be a scientist, congressman, Instagram model, I would have like totally said, do you want fries with that? Uh, I wish I was an Instagram model. Yeah, I think my husband would like that too. He, he's always looking at your pictures when he's taking a jump. Yeah, Michelle likes to play hide the Budweiser can. <laughs> you know, there is nothing better than great friends just sitting around licking good beer. Uh, speaking of money, um, can I have some? <laughs> uh, uh, didn't I just give you some? What do you care? It's not like it's your money. <laughs> well, 10% of it's mine. <laughs> right, Obama? That's right. Hey, what's our motto? Steal from the poor, give to the rich. <laughs> <laughs> what a great motto. It's the best. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go out and get some ice cream and bite you. And I'm going to get something for my husband. Hey, Pete, what are you rubbing on my neck? Man, every time Pete comes over, the whole house smells like poop. Yeah, every time I'm around Michelle, it smells like poop, too. <laughs> I smell poop all the time, but that's just because I shit myself. Oh, oh here comes our favorite commercial. Show. All right. I got some Bud Light. Damn, she is hot. Yeah, I'd leave Michelle in a second for this girl. Yeah, man, she makes me feel all warm and fuzzy like I just shit my pants. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Actually, I did. <laughs> Man, I wish Jill looked like her. Yeah, I wish Michelle did, too. <laughs> I mean, Jill looks like the lead singer of a 1980s hair band. Yeah, Michelle looks like one of my buddies from college. Hello, peasants. <laughs> Today, I'll be talking with Hillary Clinton. Oh, I love it when people talk about me. Now, to me, Hillary will always be the president of the United States. <laughs> oh, I agree. But I, I, I got to ask you, Hillary. Um, <laughs> How in the hell did you lose to Trump? Well, to be honest. 
I didn't lose. You see? Nope. I knew it. So, so what happened? Well, it was election night, right? and Donald Trump called me crying. Oh, I wish I could have heard that. <laughs> did, did you record it? Yeah, I recorded it, but then I deleted it. <laughs> so, so what was you crying about? Well, he was begging me to let him win. He was begging you to let yeah. him win? He said, I'll pay you whatever you want. Are you serious? Yeah. He said, I'll pay you $7 billion if you just let me win. Wow. So what did you say? Well, honestly, I just felt bad for him. Yeah. Most of America feels sorry for him. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, so then what happened? Well, I told Trump I would take care of it, and then I called Putin. Wait. You call Putin, or did the other Hillary call Putin? It was the other Hillary, before me. Oh, it must have been terrified. That was a scary Hillary. Yeah, <laughs> he was pretty scared. He kept asking his handlers to check his pulse. So then what happened? Well, the other Hillary told Putin to let Trump win. She actually told him that? Oh, yeah, and he did it. But Putin always does what he's told to do. Well, of course he does. He was terrified of her. That was a scary Hillary. Well, he's scared of me, too. I remember one time I said boo to Putin. And he spent the next five days in the hospital. Oh, I know. Everybody's scared of you. <laughs> That's why your husband's not in prison. I appreciate that, but I think that everyone's a little bit more scared of you. No. Oh, really? You think? Yeah. That's why your husband's not in jail. I don't know. I mean, I, I think everybody's a little bit more scared of you. <laughs> I mean, you get away with everything. You know, it's like your emails, Benghazi, Epstein, Clinton Foundation, Whitewater, all your mission employees. Well, I appreciate the compliment, but I think everyone is a little bit more scared of you. I mean, look at how much you get away Come with. Come on. What, what have I gotten away with? Well, I mean, there's so much, I don't want to leave anything out. <laughs> well, I, I really don't like talking about myself, but... I'd like to hear a few things I've gotten away with. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, you lied about January 6th, the two impeachment trials, the insider trading, you didn't wear a mask, ripping up Trump's speech, smear campaigns, lying to an entire country, and then the okay, Russia, okay. Russia, Russia thing. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> let's just say that everyone is equally scared of the book of us. I'll drink to that. <laughs> what? I, I didn't know there was alcohol here. So, John. <laughs> John? Me, John? Yeah. You, John. Me, Jane. Oh, me, Jane, you, John. No, I'm Jane, and you... You know what? Let's just turn on your... I mean, your teleprompter. I like potatoes. John, are you ready to be a senator again? Yes. Are you able to perform your duties as a senator? Yes. John, what's two plus two? Four? That's right. I personally think you're ready, but Americans seem to be unsure. Unsure? John, I'm going to ask you some harder questions to prove to America that you're ready to be a senator again. The uh, pickles and tomatoes are toasters. All right, John, what is the answer to this math equation? Uh, nine? That's right. John, what are two things you can never eat for breakfast? The uh, lunch and dinner. Right. John, what starts with E and ends with E, but only has one letter in it? Uh, an envelope? John, if it takes eight men 10 hours to build a wall, how long would it take four men? No time. The wall is already built. John, an electric train is moving north at 100 miles per hour, and a wind is blowing to the west at 10 miles per hour. Which way does the smoke blow? The electric trains don't have smoke. That's right. I'm sorry, but is this, like, going to take much longer? Um, is there something wrong? Well, it's just, like, I have a hair and nail appointment in 20 minutes, and I've got, like, to pack for Hawaii, and... I have to go dress shopping, and this interview is just, like, dragging on and on and on. Okay, I can I can try and Yeah, yeah. It. Next question, okay? Let's go. Come on. Um, well, how was your relationship with John after all of this? Oh, it's great. I mean, I'm going on vacation. I'm shopping. I'm just living the dream. I'm a princess. Has it been hard? No. No, it hasn't been hard for a very long time. And that's why I go on vacation. How have you gotten through this? Well, it hasn't been easy. But that's why I go on vacation without my husband, to clear my head, to walk on the beach and meet different guys. You know, have fun. Do you think John is ready to be a senator again? Uh, yeah. I mean, my dresses and my vacations aren't going to pay for themselves. What's wrong, AOC? I don't know, but like, something like just totally doesn't feel right about this. What? Like me having a crush on my brosby? No. Is this about me liking milk good? No, I'm talking about these babies. We should get rid of them. And we should shave their heads, too. Yeah. yeah. Let's put their plastic heads off and throw them in the dumpster. What? I hate you, baby. My body, my choice. That's right, my prissies. Excellent. Hey, hey, Nancy. Yeah, Joe. Can I ask you a favor? Sure. Flash me what? Uh, 
Can you help me run for re-election? <laughs> sure I will, Joe. Just let me freshen up and I'll get started. All right. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No water again. Damn you, California. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't have to brush my teeth. I have seizures. <laughs> all right, Joe. I'm all freshened up. <laughs> uh, wow, that was fast. I know. <laughs> all right, let me finish this set. Oh, man, you stink. Thank you. <laughs> now let's get started. <laughs> let's do it. Now. If you want to get reelected, you gotta get arrested. I, I gotta get arrested? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting arrested is always good for votes. All right. <laughs> and a mugshot makes you look like a badass. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a badass. <laughs> you are a badass. <laughs> Kids! Now, this next thing is extremely important. Uh, all right, what, what I gotta do? You gotta sniff a bunch of kids. Sniff a bunch of kids? Right, now, I don't mean just sniff them. All you right. really gotta motorboat those sons of bitches. You, you want me to motorboat? So I need you to practice, all right? You want me to practice right yeah, now? Yeah, practice right now. All right, all right, all right, all right. You motorboat, you <laughs> son of a bitch. You old sailor, you. Hey, I, I do what I can. Now, <laughs> we must travel to the ends of the earth and speak to the master of election fraud. Master of election fraud? <laughs> you, you mean? Yep. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. Show your diaper, Joe. Are we almost there? No. Uh, are we almost there? No. Uh, are we almost there? Yo! Uh, are we almost there? Yo! Uh, are, are we almost there? Yo! Hey, I need a diaper change! Uh, what took you so long? Um, <laughs> I, I had to change Joe's diaper. What are you here for? I, I need advice on how to win. Well, if you want to win, you're going to need a cigar and an intern. What? I, I mean, you're going to have to erase 30,000 emails. Huh? I, I mean, you're going to have to smash your cell phones and your laptops. With a hammer! Wait, what? I, I mean, just spy and cheat. Oh, so that's how you do it. <laughs> yep, that's how you do it. Thank you, old wise one. Well, what'd she say? She said you're gonna win. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the pool. Today we're gonna be talking about Coke in the White House. <gasps> Coke in the White House? Yep, Coke in the White House. Coke in the White House? Mm-hmm. Yep. Coke in the White House. Okay, hang on a second. What is going on? Well, to bring you back up to speed, they found Coke in the White House. <gasps> you know, they're gonna blame Hunter for this. Oh, you know they're gonna blame Hunter. Mm hmm. Even though Hunter didn't do nothing wrong. I know. Mm -hmm. Hunter's a good boy. Why are they doing this? I know. And Hunter is so good looking. Yeah. I broke a fingernail to Hunter last night. Hunter was the smartest guy I know. I wish they would just leave him alone. I just hope that they find the real criminal who did this. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they're never gonna find him. What you mean they ain't never gonna find him? Mm -hmm. Well, the cameras weren't working, and there was no fingerprints. <laughs> the camera's not working. How can this be? Probably because that racist Don Jr. snuck into the White House. And broke all the cameras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he probably planted the coke to make it look like it was Hunter's. Mm -hmm. And then he probably wiped his racist white fingerprints off the coke. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I knew it was Don Jr. the whole time. We now have never before seen video surveillance of what we believe actually happened that day. Take a look. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You know damn well that Don Jr. wearing a Hunter Biden mask. I Looking knew it was right Don there, Jr. Breaking into the White House with a Hunter Biden mask on. Oh, oh man. What is going on here? Now we spray painting the cameras with vanilla Coke. I so is that no hair, Don Jr. White race is just standing never get arrested. He needs to be arrested. I have no idea what's going on. He's going to get away with it, too. What? I knew it was him the whole time. We should give this video surveillance to the Secret Service. Mm hmm No, they'll just say it was fake. But we got video proof that that racist Don Jr. tried to frame Hunter Biden. He belong in prison. Mm hmm <laughs> Don Jr. will never go to prison. He's above the law. I'm a 
Dwayne will be white. Don Jr. is above the law. Yeah, because Don Jr. got all that white privilege. Mm -hmm. He should be arrested. Mm. It'll never happen. He'll never be held accountable. Oh my gosh, we totally <laughs> solved the case. We should work for the Secret Service. I knew it was Don Jr. the whole time. And that's <laughs> our show. Join us tomorrow where we guess how many facelifts I've had. Hey, Jim, pull my finger. No, I'm not pulling your finger, Jerry. Come on, Jim, just pull my finger. No, I'm... Accidents happen, so let's see. The Congress hearing, okay? And in the middle of the Congress hearing, that person lets out a little silent fart. All right. But that silent fart actually ends up being a really wet fart, and it starts dripping down the person's leg, and uh, people start smelling it. Okay. What would you do in that situation? Well, I... Probably go to the bathroom and clean myself up. <sighs> Good advice. Um, I'm gonna take a small bathroom break. Hey, yo, man. Huh? You see my hair, my nail, right? What? I said you see my hair, my nail, right? Um, I guess. You see my car, my jewelry? Huh? I'm giving paycheck to paycheck, man. What? I, I ain't got no white privilege. Huh? Y'all ain't even know how hard my life is. Uh, I need reparations. Okay. Um, okay. I, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Mr. Ray. Yes? Supposing you was a judge in a beauty pageant, who would win? Me or Maxine Waters? Oh, um, that would, uh, uh that, that, that would probably be a tie. Um, Mr. Ray? Yes? Do you think that Donald Trump is a big, fat, poopy head? Yes, I do. And, um, is it okay if I still eat pasta and hot dogs every day? Sure. As much as I want? Yeah, I've never had a problem with it. Thank you. Mr. Ray? Yes? Ed Buck? Um. Ed Buck? Okay. Ed Buck? Ed Buck. Mr. Ray, I got a pretty serious question to ask you. All right. Who do you think will win a fight between Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm going to go with Mark. Um, he looks pretty healthy. All right. Thank you. Um, oh, and make sure to listen to my podcast. Oh, I will. Ladies and gentlemen, I called you here today because we found Coke in the White House. Whoa. I wonder whose it is. We don't know yet, but the FBI always gets its man. Well, it don't belong to anybody in this room. <laughs> We're all law-abiding citizens. It's probably Donald Jr. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on a second. Was it Diet Coke? <laughs> yeah, because if it's Diet Coke, then that Coke belongs to only one man. Donald Trump! Oh my gosh, I like almost just died. So, was it Diet Coke or regular Coke? It's just regular Coke. Well, that's it then. It's Don Jr. I just solved the case. OMG, I like totally knew it was Don Jr. all along. He totally wants to date me. I knew it was him too. Me too. The whistleblower told me. Told me too. He said it was Russian Coke. Bingo. Look guys, I know Donald Jr. is guilty too, but... I still have to investigate this. Hey! We don't pay you to investigate us! We pay you to investigate, not us! Yeah! We tell you who to investigate! That's right! You work for us! Yeah, and there's really nothing to investigate anyways! The cameras don't even work in the White House! So case closed! It was Donald Jr! Yeah! Go arrest Donald Trump Jr! I agree! Donald Trump Jr. is a criminal! <laughs> <laughs> he belongs in prison with his father! <laughs> I mean, what kind of guy just leaves his coke in the White House, bro? Ugh, it just makes me so angry. Leaving your coke in the White House? That's like leaving your laptop at the repair shop. That's like deleting 33,000 emails with a hammer. Yeah, it's like uh, flying on Epstein's private jet. 
26 times. It's <laughs> like not knowing what pasta and hot dogs means. It's like not knowing what a garbage disposal is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking your way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need people like that on the streets. I know who's Coke it is. Uh, hey, Dad, I I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, you want me to tickle your butt crack while you go, honey? So? Who left your coke in the White House? <laughs> please say Don Jr. Please say Don Jr. Please say Don Jr. It was Don Jr. in the West Wing with a hundred dollar bill. I knew it! Yay! Justice has been served. Well, it's indictment day. Uh, I again? We finally got you, Trump. Yeah, <laughs> it's all over, pal. Yeah, you're going down, Mr. Poopy Pants. Yeah, yeah I, I brushed my teeth with barbecue sauce this morning. Uh, can you smell it? <sighs> Shut up, Joe. All right, are we seriously doing this again? Yep, we're seriously doing this again. You're finished, Trump. Why didn't you guys do this witch on two and a half years ago? Well, because you weren't running for president. <laughs> Joe, shut up! Sorry. Why is it that every time the Biden crime family gets exposed, I get indicted? Because that's how cover-ups work. Duh! James Coma reveals the Biden family payments and poof! <laughs> I get indicted. Ah, that was just a coincidence! The grand old potty views Biden family bribes and poof! <laughs> I'm indicted again! Well, stop breaking the law, asshole! Pump the sweetheart plea deal falls apart and poof! Jack in the box over here adds more charges. We got you this time, Trump. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, as soon as Devin Archer testifies, I get indicted once more. Well, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Are you guys ever going to stop this? Sure. As soon as you stop running for president. <laughs> so that's what this is all about? Me running for president? Yep. <laughs> and if I stop running for president, you'll stop indicting me? You're not as stupid as you look, Trump. <laughs> so all I gotta do is stop and this all goes away. Yep, it all gets erased. So are you gonna give up, Trump? Yeah, Trump, are you gonna give up or what? Not a chance. Trump, you do realize that if you don't quit, <laughs> we're just gonna keep coming for you. I'm actually looking forward to that the most. Come on, Trump, can you just give up? Pretty yeah, please, please, Trump, 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 please. Come on, yeah, pretty come please. on Trump, pretty please. Come on, please. I don't think so. The way I see it, all I need is one more indictment to ensure my election. <laughs> All right for Judge Mary Guy. Welcome, everyone, to, um, is this impeachment court? Nope. Is this impeachment court number two? Nope. Okay, <laughs> um, is it grab them by the meow court? No. Um, is this E. Jean Carroll court? No. Okay, um, is this Stormy Daniels court? No, no, no. <laughs> Welcome back to the People Against Donald Trump, sponsored by George Soros. <laughs> Attention, peasants! Oh, the impeachment trial has begun. Oh. Well, let's get this over with. I just want to let everybody know that I'm here in favor of Donald Trump, and I'm here to support Donald Trump in any way, and I'm here to fight for our president. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I couldn't do that with a straight face. <laughs> I never felt so helpless before. I feel like I stepped on a bee. <laughs> Your Honor, we the jury find Donald Trump guilty of all charges. Oh, damn it. Y'all ain't supposed to say that until after the show. Sorry, read your scripts, people. Be touching shit. Do you swear to read your scripts, the whole scripts, and nothing but your scripts, so help your money? I do. And action. January 6th committee. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, whatever? Eh. Good enough for me. Wait a minute. Um, is, is this impeachment course or January 6th course? It's January 6th court, Nancy. <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. Hmm. Um, is this Russia, Russia, Russia court? No. Okay, um, is this January 6th court? No. Uh -uh. Is this the Mueller investigation report court? No. Wait a minute. Is this the show me your taxes court? No. Is it the We Almost Got Him Again court? Uh, no. Well, what court is this? Anyone? Um, it's, uh, <laughs> you know what, um, I, I have no idea what court this is. Mm, Mr. Pence, you? Can you describe this photo? Oh, uh, yeah, that's Donald Trump ripping the tag off a mattress. <gasps> I knew witness him doing this. Yes, I did. <gasps> this wasn't the first time, was it? Nope. 
No, it wasn't. <gasps> In the four years you spent at the White House, how many mattress tags did twice impeach Donald Trump rip off? Um, uh, all of them. You Master Pants. Did you ever try and stop Trump from ripping the tags off? Yeah, but he just told me it's not my concern. <gasps> hey, show the video! Yeah! Show the video! <laughs> oh. I'm here today to let everybody know that I support Donald Trump. <laughs> I, I couldn't do that with a straight face. I'm sorry. <laughs> Donald Trump was angry because he lost. And then all of a sudden he yelled out, go, go, gadget arms. <laughs> and that's when he stole the limousine. <laughs> I have no idea. Me either. Well, I need to know what court this is. What difference does it make? He's guilty. I know, but <laughs> here it is. It's classified document court. Duh! Hey, I got chocolate chip documents in my garage. <laughs> I got classified documents too. Me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I got some too. Yeah, so do I. Has the jury reached a decision? Um, yes. <laughs> you can start by giving me all your money. This is mega country. We were horrified. He kept screaming, this is mega country. He made us read the Constitution and ah, he tried to inject yeah. everyone with bleach. I thought I was going to die. He poured bleach on me and made me say the Pledge of Allegiance. I just wanted to order a Diet Coke. <laughs> so there I was, riding my bike to the Capitol, when all of a sudden... You're all under my control. Hey, Stormy, did you get that money I sent you? Highly respected adult film star Stormy Daniels. Do you swear to read the script, the whole script, and nothing but the script that we provided for you? Uh, Stormy, please don't uh, suck the microphone. Sorry. Yeah, I swear. Uh, as long as I get paid. District Attorney Bragg, call your first witness. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta hide a couple hundred pages of evidence. Guilty. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to say that yet. Aren't you gonna ask me if I'm gonna tell the truth? Damn, yeah, police, I'm being attacked. All right, Mr. Schiff. Call your first witness. <laughs> um, Madam Drinker, we have twice impeached, no longer President Donald Trump. Guilty! We haven't even started yet. Sorry. <laughs> I, I wasn't supposed to say that till later. Proceed. Never in the history of America has a private citizen ever been impeached. This is a waste of the taxpayers' money and America's time. Silence, Trump! Oh. You are not allowed to suck. No Twitter, no Facebook, no YouTube, no yeshing! I'm so glad Trump's not president anymore. Yeah. I mean, thousands of people are out of work, but at least we don't have to read Trump's mean tweets yeah. anymore. Those really hurt my feelings. Can you describe this photo? Oh, uh, yeah. That's Trump leaving the toilet seat up. You son of a bitch! You're gonna fry for this, Trump! Mr. Pans, what other laws did Trump bring? Well, when he was in Connecticut, Trump tried to sell a pickle that didn't bounce. <gasps> what else? When he was in Georgia, he ate fried chicken without a fork. <gasps> Is that all? Well, there's more. <gasps> when he was in Kansas, he threw a snowball. <gasps> when he was in Maryland, he said a bad word while driving. <gasps> when he was in Massachusetts, he danced to the national anthem. You son of a bitch! Hello, President Avenatti! Hey, everybody! Hey, Stormy. I miss you. Can you ever forgive me? Wait a minute. You're going to believe a guy who's serving 14 years for fraud and identity theft over a former president? Hey, there is no one more trustworthy than a convicted felon. Ain't that right, Michael Cohen? It's true. Mr. Trump. Yeah? Are you guilty of the crime you're being indicted for? No. I don't even know what I'm being indicted for. Hey, hey, hey. Neither do I. But I'll think it's something. You going down, Trump. Ain't nothing more important than putting you in jail. What about the crime wave in New York? I don't care about that. I only care about putting you in jail. Hey, hey, hey. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, who are you going to believe? A former president of the United States or a highly respectable, family-friendly porn star? There ain't nobody more credible than a family-friendly porn star. Hey, hey, hey. Twice impeached no longer President Trump. <laughs> Where were you on January 6th? Trying to make America great again? Mr. Trump, I will not allow racism in my courtroom. Make America great again is racist? Another word out of you and I'll hold you with your ships. 
another drink into you, and your liver's going to hold you in contempt. You got a big mouth, convict. I'm not even oh. the president anymore. Hey, it doesn't matter. We just like you so much that we're willing to waste your taxpayers' money to yeah. impeach you one more time. America, are you paying attention to this? I hereby send you to life in prison. For what? I don't know. <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with politics. <laughs> not a joke. So, Jack, how's it going? So, so Jack. How's it going? We got him this time. So does this mean like I'm not going to go to jail? Hunter, as long as your dad does everything I say, you'll never have to go to jail. Hunter, as, as long as your dad does everything I say, you'll... you'll Joe, stop repeating everything I say. Joe, stop repeating everything I say. So, um, <laughs> do, do we have a backup plan in case we don't get him this time? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, uh yes, we do. Well, what is it? Uh, it's somebody who's going to beat Trump. I, are, are, you, are you talking about me? No. <laughs> Not this time, Joe. Oh, man. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the man who's going to beat Donald Trump, Chris Christie. Uh, what's for dinner? Um, uh, Obama, this is the guy that's going to beat Trump? Uh, that's correct. Uh, 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 that's correct. Um, <laughs> is he going to beat him in the election or a piling contest? Make America butter again. Um, can, can he just say make America butter again? <laughs> well, yeah. And he's got a four-year plan. What is it? Don't die? <laughs> yep. Chris Christie is going to be the next president. Of what? The Golden Corral all-you-can-eat buffet? <gasps> what? <gasps> For lunch. How much is this costing us? Practically nothing. <laughs> it works for butter. <gasps> Hang on. <gasps> I gotta take a break. Come on, guys. Be nice. All right, everybody, take a seat. Let's get started. Nancy? Yes? Would you like to start the group? Sure. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Nancy. Hi, hey, Nancy. Tara. And, uh, I'm a Trumpaholic. Yeah, me, me too. too. <laughs> Let us begin with our group prayer. Oh, oh heavenly heavenly China, China. China. Oh, oh, heavenly China. China. Oh, heavenly China. Oh, China. Oh, heavenly 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 China. That was lovely. All right, everybody. What should we be focusing on today? We can focus on how Bill paid Paula Jones $850,000 to go away. Or we can focus on Seth Rich and your emails. We can focus on Epstein's client list and flight logs. How about we focus on Vince Foster and how Hillary used campaign money? Guys, guys, let's remember why we're here. All right? This isn't your fault, and it's not our fault. This is all Trump's fault. That's true. That's why we're here. Yep. Maybe we can focus on World War III. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's Trump's fault. Why don't we focus on the violent crime increase? Oh, never mind. That's Trump's fault, too. <laughs> Good idea. That could work. I was going to say we could focus on inflation, but... That's all Trump's fault. Yeah, yeah I, I was going to recommend that we, uh, uh, that, we, that, we, that, that we focus on the dirty Biden, China, and Ukraine dealings, but... It's all Trump's fault. I, I was going to say we could be focused on Hunter's laptop, but that's Trump's fault. Well, I was going to say, like, we should focus on the cartel crisis, but that's all Trump's fault, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we should be focusing on the overdose crisis and the open border, but that's all Trump's fault. By got it. Why don't we focus on arresting Trump for allegedly paying Stormy Daniels $130,000 before he even ran for office? Way to go, Nancy. You did it. Now let's go arrest that son of a bitch. <laughs> Welcome to Term Limits Retirement Home, starring house drinker Nancy, Crazy Maxine, Moldy Pants Sanders, Prune Juice Soros, also starring Sneaky Diane, Shower Time Joe, Fossil Fuel Grassley, Instagram Model Schwab, Moscow Mitch, and Potato Head Fetterman. All right, guys, we, we need to come up with a plan to, um... Arrest Donald Trump. Page 45! What about the Stormy Daniels thing? No, we, we already tried that. It, it, it didn't work. What about his tax returns? That that didn't work either. We can go dress shopping. How, how is dress shopping going to get Trump arrested? I don't know, but I can try on dresses. Anybody else? What about Russia, Russia, Russia? No, we, we tried that too. It, it didn't work. <laughs> I, I guess we could give that a try, John. <laughs> what if we impeached him? Page 45! We already did that. Twice. Didn't work. <laughs> yeah, two pigs are just as smart and just as talented as cucumbers. I think it's time for Joe's nap. 
<laughs> Here at Term Limits Retirement Home, things can get a little crazy. We gotta find a way to arrest Donald Trump. I know, Nancy. They think they're still in power. But we won't tell if you don't. After I go dress shopping, I'm going to start a new world order. Everybody is under my control. At Term Limits Retirement Home, you can rest easy knowing that your senile, corrupt former politician is in good hands. Hey, hey Bernie. Yeah? You, you want some stock tips? Stock tips <laughs> should be free! All right, Joe. It's time for your sponge bag. Uh, all right, Ashley's here. Uh, where's she at? Will you take me <laughs> dress shopping? Here at Term Limits Retirement Home, I still feel like a politician. Even though I'm not! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Paul never clips my nails. He's got no idea how to treat a real woman. <laughs> he just teases me, walking around in his underwear, holding a hammer. <laughs> You're doing it wrong! Come on, Joe! Sit still! Now, Ashley's the only one that knows how to give me a sponge bath! I can count to potato! What do you do when you don't mind? All in favor of arresting Donald Trump, say aye! 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 At Term Limits Retirement Home, we give corrupt, senile former politicians a second chance at pretending to control America. All right, Trump, give it up. You're under arrest. <laughs> for what? What? For what? For what? <laughs> I can't understand him. Take his secret mask off. I said for what? Um, I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um... You guys know why he's being arrested? Yeah, no, no, I don't no. even know where I am right now. <laughs> you guys have no clue why you're arresting me? We don't want people like you in America, Trump. This is ridiculous. Shouldn't you do nothing Democrats be investigating Hunter Biden or Epstein's client list? Don't be stupid. Democrats don't investigate Democrats. Yeah. Why would we investigate ourselves? So can you guys tell me why I'm being arrested? I don't know, but um... <laughs> What thing is something? Well, what if I didn't run for president? Well, I mean, if you don't run for president, I mean, <laughs> that, that, there's really no reason for you to be arrested. Right? Not no. at all. So all I got to do is not run for president and you won't arrest me? I, I'm not trying to pressure you anything. <laughs> but you got a deal? No. No deal. Well, then you're under arrest. Take him away. So let me get this straight. You got a crime wave in New York City. The banking system is collapsing. The border is wide open. But arresting me is your top priority? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is political prosecution. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to ask my supporters to peacefully protest this injustice. <laughs> Peaceful protest? <laughs> That's against the law. What do you think you are? America? <laughs> Oh, man! What? Ah, it smells like rotten eggs! Yep. 
Those are coma farts. <laughs> so you right, perverts. That's what you get. A mouth full of coma farts. Yeah, these farts smell like protein. I'm sure they do. <laughs> well, the kiss didn't work. It's still asleep. That's because true love kiss doesn't work. Only true mask kiss works. How can I be so stupid? Hey, she needs a mask on too, stupid. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because masks save lives. Well, what are you waiting for? Kick it, you piece of shit. Hello? Hey, I'm uh, going to get a new mask. You want to come? Yeah, come pick me up. I'm outside. All right, I'll be out in a minute. Hey, why are you getting a new mask? Because you can just never be too safe. Uh, safe for what? You know, to sing. The thing? Yeah, to sing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I don't know. So, do you have any symptoms? Symptoms? Symptoms for what? You know, to sing. I, I, I don't know. What, what are symptoms? Well, um, did you wake up this morning? <laughs> yeah, I woke up. Well, that's a symptom. Waking up is a symptom? Yep, and it's actually a pretty serious symptom. I, I, I didn't know that. Did you breathe today? Yeah, I did breathe today. You did? You breathe today? Yeah, I breathe today. That's another symptom. Are you serious? That's a symptom, too. What? What? Asking people if they're serious. This is nuts. I didn't have symptoms yesterday. You didn't have symptoms yesterday? I uh, know. <laughs> That's a symptom, too. But I feel fine. I don't have symptoms. Not having a symptom is a symptom. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm actually coming up with a new law. You want to hear it? What, what is it? Well, if you're the last person on Earth, you have to wear a mask. If you're the last person on Earth, yes. you have to wear a mask? That's correct. And you also have to pay taxes. Uh, are you being serious? I'm being serious. <laughs> I, I'm so confused. I, I, if you're the last person on Earth, why, why would it matter? Apparently, you're not ready for this conversation, uh, well, Joe. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, we're trying to play a game. Get out of here. Shut up, Eric. Why don't you go poop your pants on TV? Oh, that happened two years ago. People don't forget. <laughs> hey, you never told me why you hate Trump so much. You really want to know? Uh, I, I don't know. Fine. Here it comes. Um, when I was a little girl, I had um, a problem. <laughs> and it's not even that big of a deal. You know, it's like 9% of the kids do it. But whatever. Um, for some reason, and um, I don't know why, <laughs> I would just sit around all day and um, draw pictures of Trump. Trump? Like Donald Trump? Yeah. Like Donald Trump. <laughs> I just sit there for hours on end. Drawing Trump. I don't know what it was. I, I just couldn't touch pen to paper without drawing the shape of Donald Trump. Oh, that's crazy. You're damn right it's crazy. Here I am, this little girl, and I can't stop drawing Trump to save my life. <laughs> In the classroom is where I did the majority of my illustrations. <laughs> I was very secretive about this whole Trump drawing operation I had going on. <laughs> Even I thought I was freaking crazy. Imagine what everyone else would think. <laughs> so I would stash all my Trump drawings in this Donald Trump lunchbox that I had. So one day, I'm finishing up this real big MAGA triumphant sucker, and then all of a sudden, I dropped a picture of Trump on the ground, and AOC picks it up. Come on, man. Are you serious? Yep. I'm serious. Ah! She starts freaking out crying, and then she ran me out to the principal, and he finds my Donald Trump lunchbox Trump treasure chest, and he flips out and calls my parents. Turns out the principal was a crazy loony liberal and thinks I was possessed by some Trump demon. My parents made me see a therapist and I was forbidden to talk about or draw Trump for the rest of my life. My childhood was ruined. Wow. Um, all right, so why do you hate Trump? Are, are you being serious? I, I just told you. Wait, what? Master of the house, Chris is taking... <coughs> oh, crap! It's the cops! It's all right, Nancy. You're just a little drunk. Keep it cool. <laughs> Um, is there a problem, officer? Just doing a random cootie check. Random cootie check? Yeah, random cootie check. It's a new law. So you just shot people to see if they have cooties? No, I stop people to make sure they got their cootie shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you got your cootie shot? Uh, what, what happens if I choose? Well, I'll appal your car and take you to jail. Are you serious? Oh, I'm serious. I take DWU very seriously. CWU? Yep. Is that like driving while drunk? No, I'm afraid DWU is far more serious than that. Well, well what's CWU? <laughs> um, driving while unvaccinated. Okay? You're kidding, right? Nope. 
A am I being punked? No. Nope. Is this a joke? No, nope, I'm afraid not. Uh, we here at the CCP don't joke about the cootie shot, okay? What? What's a CCP? Cootie check patrol. Um, are, are you a cop? Not exactly. W what, are you like a judge? No, nope, not a judge. W well, if you're not a cop and you're not a judge, then what are you? <laughs> Basically, um, I'm the guy that's going to take your car and send you to jail if you don't show me your cooties card. Cooties card? Yeah, your cooties card. They give it to you after you get your cooties shot. Um, yeah, yeah, I got my cooties card. <laughs> Can I see it, please? Well, I don't have it with me. Rule number one of the CCP handbook clearly states that you must carry your cootie card with you at all times. I'm gonna have to place you under arrest for breaking the cooties law. Um, I'm sorry, um, I, I had a few drinks after work, and, um, <laughs> I'm pretty drunk, um, and I, and I forgot to mention that I didn't get my cootie shot yet. <laughs> you, you haven't had your cootie shot yet? Yo, yo, um, but I was actually on my way to get my cootie shot right now. <laughs> you were? You were gonna get it? Yep. I was headed to get my cootie shot right before you pulled me over. Oh, well, this changes everything. You're free to go. Sorry about your confusion, officer. <laughs> I get a little loopy when I drink and drive. Totally understandable, ma'am. It was an honest mistake. Thanks for keeping America safe. Have a great night. Woo! That was a close one. <laughs> All right. Off to the next bar. You must go. But I'm helping people. You're not helping anyone. But people love me. No one loves you. I'm not listening to you. You must leave and never come back. But what about all my friends? You have no friends. You're lying. Everybody loves me. I'm Dr. Fauci. You're not a doctor. What did you say? I said, you're not a doctor. You take that back right now. You're not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not listening to you. Get away from me. Hey, Fauci. Yeah? You are the weakest link. Goodbye. No! All right, Adam. I figured out what we have to do. <laughs> are we going to go to the Standard Hotel and have some hot dogs? Yo. Aww. What we're going to do is impeach Donald Trump. Didn't we already do that? Twice? Twice isn't good enough. All right? Okay. We must continue to impeach him until he's gone. But he's no longer president. It doesn't matter, Adam. Okay. You do what I say, and I do what I want. Okay, okay. <laughs> I I'm really hungry for some pasta, though. Now, you listen, and you listen good. I'm going to expose the truth. I'm going to uncover the corruption, and I will make everything great again. Be patient, people. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Leave. I can't leave. I have to convince them to take it. They don't want it. Oh, but they do. They just don't know it yet. They won't take it. They will. They wore the mask. They will obey. Well, then maybe you should stay. <laughs> I will stay. I will make them obey. I will make them listen. They will listen. We really like hearing ourselves talk, don't we? <laughs> no one is listening to you. All right, so, um... Let's get started, shall we? If I promise to do this, you promise I'll stay out of prison, Adam, right? trust me, all right? If you keep doing what I say, you will never go to prison. And can I still have hot dogs and pasta every day? As long as I get to have ice cream. Yay! <laughs> the best is yet to come. <laughs> you know what? Uh, um... Anyway. Hey! Hey, you! Put your mask on! Did you hear what I said? Put your mask on! I will arrest you and throw you in jail! Put your mask on! You wanna go to prison? Put it on! Hey! Let me tell you something. <laughs> Put your mask on! Oh, you're an illegal immigrant? I'm sorry. You don't need to wear a mask. Hey, do you need a job? I sure love illegal immigrants. But the rest of you! Put your mask on! Is a mask or jail? Make a choice! You're a move! Rip, go ahead. Make my day. You do what I say. I'm a bunch of law. I abuse my power. And I'm loving every minute of it. <laughs> I have the power. You're the disease. And I'm the cure. Put your mask on. You're not covering your nose. You put your mask on. In fact, put two masks on. You better put it on or else put it on. You're going to jail. Six is shot real. King Kong 
Ain't got nothing on me. You do what I say. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. Ah! 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 There's going to be some consequences and repercussions. Do you hear me? Do as I say, not as I do. I do what I want. I'm your worst nightmare. Pelosi, this is the people's house. It's not your house. Excuse me? He said it's the people's house. Silence! I am the house speaker. <laughs> this is my house, and what I say goes. And no one tells me how to run my house. This is an abuse of power. Power? What do you know about power? I have all your power, and I can't be stopped. <laughs> Guys, um, I screwed up, all right? Uh, I got it wrong. I made a mistake, you know? I'm, I'm human. You know, I, I found out that the first two didn't work. But I promise if you get two more, you'll be just fine, all right? So please, put your mask back on. Children of the world, put your masks on. We're watching you. Paintings for sale. Paintings for sale, bro. All sales are private, and I promise. I'm not doing anything illegal, wink wink. Actually, you know what, you're probably gonna need four more just to be safe. And, and, and you know what, ne ne never mind about the mess. Um, this doesn't uh, feel like the Green New Deal. I've been spying on you. Oh, damn! <laughs> Y'all see that huge rocket in the sky? Oh, you know what, that reminds me. I gotta call Willie. <laughs> America is the greatest country in the world. How dare you say such a thing? You are hereby banned from everything. If Banks and Jordan can't serve, then none of them will. That's fine with me. <laughs> America needs to hear the truth. America will never hear the truth as long as I'm the queen. <laughs> <laughs>
when I become president, I, I, I'll finally be able to show America how much I truly love you. Hey, how come I never get to be president? Hey, guys, we're supposed to be talking about me. You, you, you know, it, 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 it's kind of like, you know, you, 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 you wake up and, and, you know, like, and, and, and then when I was a kid, uh, you know, like after uh, 9 o'clock, I'd take my pill, but if, if, if I paid more attention in school, you know? I just want to watch people's conversations. Yeah. Is that so wrong? All right. That's it for today. I'll just take this out of your 10%, big guy. Man, I tell you, Barack. Uh, what's on your mind? My, uh, I mean, uh, Michelle? Every day is a struggle. Uh, you're telling me. <laughs> you don't even know what it's like. Oh, I, uh, struggle every day. <laughs> Excuse me, but we're having, like, an energy crisis. Can you please, like, totally unplug your car and go buy some gas? Oh, my neck and my back. Dude, I'll, like, totally settle out a cord for, like, a buttload of Parmesan cheese. Man, you lucky, Barack. Uh, that's not true. Nothing good has ever happened to me. What you talking about? You was president. Uh, yeah, but, uh, only for eight years. <laughs> hey, if y'all start serving corn dogs at the border, I'll come. <laughs> oh, man, here come that privileged white girl again. Uh, make sure to hide your money. Uh, hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you shrinking on? Man, I ain't got no oh. money. I'm broke. What, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what you got on my folio? <laughs> folio? You got the white privilege? What you talking about, Willis? You wrote, like, five books. Can somebody please call me a radical? Please? I need attention. What you got on my phone? <laughs> uh, I ain't got nothing. We struggling. Uh, what, what about some ice cream? Man, huh? go get your wife you got some ice cream, cream somewhere else. Are you gonna give me some ice cream or not? Bye, Pelosi. Whatever. I gotta go take a jump anyways. <laughs> I need Parmesan! My life is so hard. Sometimes I can't even leave the house. Uh, which house are you talking about? I ain't got nothing. Well, you're, uh, on a stamp. And anybody can get on a stamp. Well, you got, uh, millions of dollars. Yeah, anybody can make millions of dollars. Barack! Yeah? Uh, come here! I want to talk to you! Uh, oh, smells like, uh, Chinese food in here. Hey, you want to play I Spy? Uh, we can, uh, play when you're done. I forgot to tell you what happened yesterday. Uh, what happened? Well, I was next door crying about how hard my life is. Right. And then all of a sudden... Joe shows up. Hey, uh, 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 Reagan. What? Hey, can I talk to you? What do you want? Hey, man, listen, uh, I, I, I got 80 million votes, all right? Uh, can, can I have America back, please? You want America back? Yeah, I want it back. Sure. I didn't know you wanted it back, buddy. <laughs> I believe I can fly. You got corn pop the f out. This is my country, punk. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Damn. To be continued. <laughs> Shot cash? <laughs> hey, uh, now that gas is gone, I thought we could, uh, focus on more important things like, uh, raising taxes and overcharging people for everything. <laughs> now that gas is gone, um, all those politicians are going into the cash business. <laughs> Excuse me, my, uh, sensors are on the counter. <laughs> um, we're having a huge sale. Um, I, I, I got all the gas you can ever want. You know, it's like I got diesel, I got super unleaded. I, I even got super, super unleaded. <laughs> What's super, super unleaded? <laughs> well, I add a little vodka for that extra kick. <laughs> hey, when you come in my store, you have to wear a mask. Well, unless you feel uncomfortable and you don't want to wear a mask, then you don't have to wear a mask. But when you're inside, you have to wear a mask. Unless you don't want to wear a mask, and then you have to wear a mask. Masks are on sale right now for $40 a mask. Hey, free hamburgers to everybody who gets vaccinated. You want to watch me chew this hamburger? Look how cool I am, guys. I'm so hip. Nobody's doing this. Hey, who wants nuts tickets? But gas isn't the only thing we're selling. <laughs> for example, um... We have lots of donuts, too. <laughs> and you can buy one donut for the price of two donuts. And we'll throw in the second donut for free. <laughs> oh, damn it! I forgot to wipe! <laughs> well, Dr. Jill's gonna have a Hershey's kiss in the laundry tomorrow. I have Brosbin cards for sale for that special brother in your life. I got ten feet of God knows and a golf ball. Wanna see a magic trick? <laughs> You know, ever since the politicians shook over the gas, all I keep hearing is everyone complaining that everything costs too much. <laughs> so
Cereal costs too much. Wood costs too much. Vice costs too much. <laughs> but you know what doesn't cost too much? The $1,400 that I gave to all of you for free. <laughs> you peasants don't appreciate anything. Who cares if there's no more gas? At least we don't have to wear masks anymore. Hey, dudes. I got Parmesan cheese and tinfoil for sale. Get your Parmesan cheese before I smoke it all. I don't care what the three chambers of Congress say. When you come into my store, you wear a mask. I will never stop wearing a mask. I ain't no Trump supporters allowed in my store. If I see a Trump supporter, I'm kicking them out. Hey, I got some uh, Newports and uh, some Parmesan cheese over here. Uh, I, got, I got the Newports in the back. I, I, I'm not, I'm not supposed to sell new ports anymore, but uh, uh, I, I'll get you a pack of, of fresh new ports for uh, 50 bucks a pack. <sighs> hey, you, come here. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. <laughs> I got some gas in the back. 100 bucks a gallon. You interested? <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Shot cash. <laughs> Free stones, meet the free stones. They're a product of insanity. You know, it's hard to believe that 80 million people made this possible. <laughs> I feel like I'm dreaming over here. Uh, it's all coming together. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Thanks for making me the oil and pipeline expert. Yeah, you're the perfect man for the job, son. You're the smartest person I know. Wow. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, shutting down that pipeline was genius, and America is really happy about it. Uh, I am so happy I don't have to go to the gas station anymore. <laughs> I mean, I would have to fill up my tank every single week. I like to fill up my tank once or twice or even three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> now I just gotta figure out um, where I'm gonna get my vodka and ice cream on your way home from work. <laughs> <laughs> no gas, no freedom, no nothing. Welcome to the Green New Deal, guys. Man, I tell you, America sure is happy about not having any gas. <laughs> yeah, and they can't be mad about gas prices anymore because there's no gas. Oh, you're the smartest person I know, son. I know, Dad. Everything is going exactly the way I planned it, Michelle. My life is so hard, Barack! I know. People just don't understand how hard our life is. Yeah! People don't know how much we struggle every day! We sure hit the jackpot with you, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> 300 people can't be wrong. Um, <laughs> I, I said you mean 80 million people, Joe. Uh, I, I don't know. Dad, have you been using my tinfoil? <laughs> Any day, I'm gonna be the first female president! <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's gonna be the first female president, it's gonna be Nancy. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> I, I thought I was the first female president. Dad, I'm gonna take a tinfoil bath. <laughs> hey, shouldn't I be wearing a pearl necklace? <laughs> I don't care what the CDC says. I'm gonna wear a mask for the rest of my life. I'm the king of the world. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Hey, Joe, I need you to sign some more executive orders. Free ba doo ba doo Hey, Dad, we're out of tinfoil. Hang on, son. Daddy's signing executive orders. It's only a matter of time. And soon, everyone will be saying, President Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> then I can have all the ice cream and vodka in the world. And no one can shot me. <laughs> hey, you're not going to fire me, are you? Uh, not right now. Oh, oh good. I, I, I thought you were going to fire me. Uh, we are, just uh, not right now. Oh, good. So, uh, anyway, how am I doing? Uh, you're doing great, Joe. Just uh, keep reading that teleprompter uh, and uh, keep being you. Yeah, I love reading that teleprompter. Yep. Uh, I, I don't know what it, what it says, but uh, words come out of nowhere, and I, I just say them. I uh, knew you were the right guy for the job, Joe. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hey, being president is so easy. I, I, I just say what they tell me to say, and, and, and I sign what they tell me to sign. I just, uh, hey, hey what's my name again? <laughs> hey, Joe! Yeah? We did it! <laughs> um, we're out of gas, so you're gonna have to circle back, okay? Who needs gas when you could ride a bike to work? Darn it! My feet fell off again! Oh, well. Hey, Peggy! How you doing? What's up? We're going into the gas pit. That's right. right. You're not gonna find gas anywhere else. No, you won't. So you better start buying from us. Uh, yeah, we right. bought all the gas. And we're gonna <laughs> sell it to you. <laughs> yep. If you want your gas, you gotta buy it from us. That's right. <laughs> we got the best gas in town. I got bags of gas for Parmesan cheese. Bags of gas for Parmesan cheese, bro. Man, I got gas prices so low, I can fuel up my car, my jet, my helicopter, my boat, my yacht, my race car. Oh, I can even fill up Jill's tank. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Biden. Give me four bucks and I'll fart in your gas tank. Cash for 
for sale. Yeah, gas for sale. Uh, gas for sale. Come on down and get your fresh gas. Yeah, why wait in line for hours when you can buy our gas? Yeah, we uh, got the best gas in town. Yeah, bring your bags, bring your boxes, Br bring your money. You need gas, we got gas. Gas for sale. Uh, yeah, we got gas for sale. Yeah, we got the freshest gas in town. This gas is so moist. <laughs> Dude, I'm like totally an international gas and pipeline industry mastermind. I'll figure out the gas shortage thing, bro. Hey, who's got some tinfoil? Now that we abolish gas, we can focus on more important things like cow farts. <laughs> Come on, guys. Four dollars and I'll fart in your tank. <laughs> you know, sometimes after a few drinks, I sit back and reminisce on it. How it all began. <laughs> it was a long time ago. We were all friends. It was me, Hillary. I can bury so many things in these holes. There was Joe. Uh, someday I'm gonna pretend to be president. There was Dr. Fauci. Someday I'm gonna make people cover their faces. Uh, maybe I won't. We were gonna be friends with Obama, but um, he was busy hanging around some guy named Mike. <laughs> Anyways, we had a whole lives ahead of us. Hey, guys! Hey, I swiped some hey visor guys. from my mom today. Guys. Oh, yeah? Hey, uh, I hey had guys. some dog food for breakfast. Hey, guys! What? You want to see a body? Jeez, this is like the third one this week, Hillary. I, I want to see it. Uh, no, I don't. Um, Well, maybe I do. Uh, you know what? I'll think about it. Uh, uh, hey, you guys want to see my hairy legs? Yo, we all agree. And soon, we were on our way. Hey, where are we? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm not sure if I want to go. Should I go or should I stay home? Oh, man. I should have drank that whole bottle of vodka. <laughs> guys, guys, come on! We need to hurry before the FBI finds it! I think we have some time. <laughs> hey, did you hear about Bruce winning the Olympics? Yeah, but um, I, I heard he's allergic to nuts. Yeah, I, I heard I heard he's gonna be put on a cereal box. I sure hope there's no nuts in that cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I love cereal! No, I don't! Come on, guys! We should get out of here! Slick Willie's gonna tell Monica to six cigars. Hey, what's the rush? Hey! What are you kids doing? Ray! Monica! Six cigars! Do you guys really want to do this? I'm not scared of that train! I I'm scared. No, no, I'm not scared. Yeah, Where the I'm hell scared. am I? We gotta hurry before the train comes. Huh? Hang on! I, I gotta toss some evidence in the river! <laughs> oh, Hillary, you and your evidence. Hey, come on, man! Hurry hey, up! You guys should be covering your faces! Wait a second. Oh, yeah! Shut up, train! It should be the Hillary train! Shut up and run, Hillary! <laughs> hey, where the hell are we? We're almost there! Oh, I'm sure you get a headache. Hey, that sounds like a symptom. Yeah, a symptom of a hangover. <laughs> hey, let's go skinny dipping. We don't even know how to keep the water in. Well, I'll just measure it with this Joe Biden stick. What? Yeah, you see? It's only one inch deep. Oh, we come on, Joe. Man. One inch, huh, Joe? <laughs> hey, sorry about that. It was a Biden inch. Guys, we need to get to the body before somebody else does. Shut up, down, Hillary. <laughs> it's not like it's the only one. Guys, I really think we... You know what? Never mind. There it is! Wow, i never seen one of those before. Wink, wink. Hey, you see the bat? Hey, Hillary. Long time no see. All right, guys. I need your help. We have to hide it. I can hide it for you. <laughs> wow, thanks, mister. No problem. Now run along, children. I'll see you very soon. Oh, my head. It hurts so bad. <laughs> hey, uh, what, what, what's wrong? Oh, I, I just got a headache. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't like taking baths either. Oh, you're going to be somebody someday, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm going to be the first person in my family to uh, pretend I'm president. Yep. <laughs> and then, uh, after you're done pretending, I'm going to be president. <laughs> yeah. I never saw too much of those guys after that day. Hillary became friends with the FBI. <laughs> Dr. Fauci became the world's greatest doctor. Even better than Dr. Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden became a pretend president. And then, um, forgot who he was. <laughs> now he spends his day trying to remember what day it is. <laughs> As for me, well, <laughs> I became the president of the United States. And, um, the rest is history. <laughs> or, in 2021, her story. <laughs> A woman. So you knowledge spot. <laughs> BJ, for your thoughts. Uh, it's just so good being here with you right now. Are you okay? I'm a little sore, but sometimes I miss you so much I can barely stand it. I know, I just can't get your taste out of my mouth. 
I love smelling your farts. I wish I knew how to quit you. Do you want another hot dog? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm all filled up on pizza. I know. I'm all stuffed with protein. Oh, me too. I'm filled to the top. Oh, so, what do you want to do? Uh, I have so much energy after eating that whole bag of sugar. I don't know. We can play tummy sticks, hide the cucumber, drop the soap, or we can have another hot dog eating contest. <laughs> so hopped up on sugar, I'm down for anything. Oh, that reminds me. We forgot to toss a salad. Uh, don't worry. We got time. Mike's going to be gone all weekend. That's going to be baby powder and Nutella all over the place. So, are you ready to party? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got less teeth this time. <laughs> all I need is a bag of sugar and a lighter. Right. Oh, shit. Reason! What are you doing here, Mike? I, I, I mean, Michelle? Is this the guy? The guy? You didn't tell him about us, Barack? Uh, well, I... <laughs> I can't believe you do this to me, Barack! Come on, Michelle. Oh, now you want to call me Michelle? Well, um... How long has been going on, Barack? The whole time. The <laughs> whole time, Barack? Yep, the whole time. Is his longer than mine? Is that what you like? You like him long, Barack? No, his isn't bigger than yours. As if. What about our fake kids, Barack? What am I supposed to tell our fake kids? Well, you can tell them that Joan was right about everything. Hello, everyone. It's me, your friendly neighborhood rhino. You might know me from my nickname, Pierre Delecto, or Liz Cheney 2.0. So I guess you heard the news. Yep, it's true. I'm not running for re-election. Now, before you start crying and begging me not to go, I just want to assure you that this has nothing to do with everyone hating me, and it absolutely has nothing to do with my internal polling saying I was going to lose. I just needed a new start, a new goal, a new life. I needed a change. And I found that change here at Burger King. Welcome to Burger King. Can I screw up your order? You see, here at Burger King, you can have it your way. And I'm not okay with that. That's why I'm changing the slogan to, you can't have it your way. I'm also replacing the flame broiled whoppers with Mitt Romney Rhino Dogs. Aren't these Rhino Dogs delicious, Mitch? Mitch? And at Mitt Romney Burger King, we deliver these hot, fresh, juicy Rhino Dogs right to your doorstep. But I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't going to miss the Senate, the secret late night dinners with Chuck Schumer, the morning sponge baths with Cory Booker, and the happy ending massages from Kamala. But it's not all bad, though. I mean, I left Utah in debt. I accomplished absolutely nothing. I started wars. And I can rest easy knowing that I really screwed things up. Plus, I ran into an old friend at my new job. This is all Trump's fault! That it is, Liz. That it is. Look, I know Utah is going to miss my warmongering, backstabbing, and fence straddling. But I needed to make a change for me. And I've received so much support from the Utahans. Just listen to these amazing comments. Fred Thompson wrote, Don't let the door hit you in the ass. Tanya Struthers writes, Good riddance. Tom Phillips said, Utah is better off. <laughs> Nancy Taylor says, Finally, some good news for once. And Cameron Jackson wrote, I only wish it could have happened sooner. Powerful stuff. Anyways, I gotta get back to work. Welcome to Burger King. Can I screw up your order? Bye, you rhino. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yep, I guess you've heard by now. Jill got it. Yep, she got it. So you know what that means. Must be election time. So just mail them in. But don't worry, people. <laughs> this will all be over faster than Mitch McConnell saying hello. Joe! Yeah? When you're done showering with Ashley, can you bring me a mask? And remember, people, if you don't wear one, then mine won't work. Yep, my son's babysitter got the double-double, and she still got it. So you know what that means? It means it's working. It's doing its job. I, I mean, if you want the truth, I I'd be kind of worried if she didn't get it. And, and I'm not wearing a mask right now, because masks work. Same with cancer and keeping the border open. I mean, but let's be real. If you haven't gotten it yet, then you're nothing but an ultra-mega constitution-loving racist. True story. Joe, keep it down. I'm trying to get some beauty sleep. Oh, those drinks would make a great dress. All right, look, man, here's the deal. The double-double is just as smart and just as talented as cyanide. Not a joke. Look, man, I built my career on the windshield wipers of the butthole campers on a planet with life jackets for lobsters. End quote. Repeat the line. And don't worry about Jill. She's fine. In fact... The View has a special message for her. Hello, best first lady that ever lived. Oh, this is making me feel so much better. I feel like a princess. Best first lady ever. We heard you got it. And we just want to let you know that we're all going to get it too. And now, introducing The View's first to get it, live from her living room, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, it's election season, uh, so I got it. Uh, but don't worry about me. Uh, I'm staying hydrated. Uh, 
I'm drinking lots and lots of butter. And I'm staying out of the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, you are live with the United Spot on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here tonight with us. We are going to be closing tonight's live. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, you should have stopped this long ago. Your videos suck. We know. We know. Um, we do want to show you something, though. If you guys could do us a huge favor, it would be awesome. It's probably one of the biggest donations you can give us. It's uh, called Watching Videos. Um, we have a new video out here called If Trump Wins, They're Leaving. Let's Help Them Pack. Um, it's a great correlation song with um, an all-star cast like Bruce Springsteen, Barbara Streisand, um, Whoopi Goldberg. Who else is in it? A couple people. Um, so if you could do us a huge favor and, uh, you know, Build these numbers up for us. Come on, share them out. Do what you can. And thanks to everybody that has been. We truly appreciate it. Make sure you're subscribed to the United Spot YouTube channel. Um, that would uh, probably be a plus. And if you're not seeing our videos in your live, please go to the search bar on YouTube and type in the United Spot. Poof! And then it'll take you there depending on what your service looks like. And then guess what? Boom, boom, boom. Joe Biden, um, and it takes you right to um, takes you right to it. Takes you right to it. So um, on that note, we definitely want to thank everybody that's been here tonight. You guys are absolutely awesome. Um, we honestly couldn't do this without you. Um, so we just wanted to thank you all so much for being here and, and uh, helping us out, uh, building this wonderful, amazing. Uh, community called the United Spot. Um, we owe you guys so much. And I think saying thank you and we appreciate you and we love you, it just, it's not enough. It's just not enough. Um, so we just wanted to say thank you one more time. Um, if you guys don't know what this means, this means that it's a good night song. It's Good night time for everybody in the comment section. If you're on Twitter, hello and good night. If you're on Facebook, hello and good night. If you're on Rumble, hello and good night. And if you're on YouTube, go squirt. Good night. Anit Poison, good night. High Plains Drifter, good night. Darnell Dodge, good night. Uh, Cowboy Indian Joe, good night. Star, good night. Rod Slug, good night. Captain Spaulding, 58, good night. Eve May, good night. Uh, Deb H, good night. Meat Poison, good night. 12 of me, 12, good night. Show, show. Coming all the way over from Twitterland. Shell, thank you so much. Truly appreciate it. Thank you so much and good night. Rod Slug is in the house. Caucasian Debris, good night. Janie, baby. Good night. Thomas Langley, truly appreciated the wonderful gift you gave the United Spot the other day. Thank you so much. Hopefully you got our message, and we truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Star, star, good night. Dr. Jill Alice Cooper, good night. High Plains Drifter, David Smith, good night. Ellen, the crazy crafty lady, thank you so much for being here tonight. Good night, Warrior Princess. Thank you for being here. Thank you, and good night. Um, I think that is all it's going to show us, but we want to thank you all so much for your amazing support. Um, it means a lot. I know we get a little goofy. I know we get a little crazy. I know we talk a little bit more than we probably should, but at the end of the day, we're truly, truly thankful. So on that note, we want you to have a wonderful night morning, I should say. Sleep well, have great dreams, wake up, and find a way to laugh. Find a way to smile. Find a way to be kind and encourage other people. Find a way to not necessarily turn the other cheek, but kill them with kindness. A happy person is an amazing person. 
And what we've always said is that if you surround yourself with awesome people, you're going to have an amazing day. So on that note, please make sure to make sure to smile, make sure to laugh, make sure to be happy. And please make sure to go to your bathroom, stare deeply into the mirror, point at yourself and say, you're welcome. You guys are awesome. We truly appreciate you guys. We will see you tomorrow for more crazy videos. Don't let us down. Please share our videos out as much as possible. That's the biggest donation you can get. Give to the United Spot. And please, please make sure you're subscribed. We love you guys. We thank you. We can't wait to see you. Have a great night. God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. Uh. Hey, Gabbler, you ain't the only one that can blow. Well, I was tallying up the votes the other night, and something just didn't seem right. So I called up my lawyers, and we wrote a song about it. And the song goes like this. Nobody kicked Trump. Joe Biden, you're an asshole, and you work dead in your whole life. Asshole rhymes with Biden, cause you're an asshole tonight. Bart Kinder, can I get a drink? Cause you're an A-S-S-H-O-L-E, and don't you try to blame it on me. You deserve all the credit, you're an asshole tonight. You were an asshole yesterday. That's right. You're an asshole tonight, and I got a feeling you'll be 